The interpretation of narratives is to some extent subjective because everyone can experience art differently. At the same time, using literary analysis, we can still explain the most reasonable meanings that the artist meant to convey or that the audience is likely to understand. To understand themes of any work of art, however, spoilers are involved. Heavy spoilers. So consider this your spoiler warning. Another Crab's Treasure, an indie Souls-like platformer, is different from a lot of other Souls-likes in that it has very clear storytelling throughout the game. The narrative of the game explores serious questions about materialism and exploitation in an existential way. In this video, we are going to answer the question, what can another crab's treasure, a game about shellfish, teach us about materialism? The first theme of another crab's treasure is introduced early in the game when Krill encounters another crab in the ocean. That crab mysteriously says, worthless. This theme is further developed at Slacktide. Slacktide is a rapidly developing fort focused on materialistic development. It is quickly revealed that the ocean economy for sea creatures is centered around the use of trash and microplastics. The Duchess of Slacktide, as well as those who work for her, are working hard to harvest said trash for further urban development. However, as the game progresses, many characters come to the conclusion that those material things are in fact not treasure, but worthless. Thus, lives lived based on living for these things are in fact meaningless. Can't you see how worthless this all is? This existential crisis is also explored in the book of Ecclesiastes. I said in my heart, come now, I will test you with pleasure, enjoy yourself. But behold, this also was vanity. I said of laughter, it is mad, and of pleasure, what use is it? I searched with my heart how to cheer my body with wine, my heart still guiding me with wisdom, and how to lay hold on folly, till I might see what was good for the children of man to do under heaven during the few days of their life. I made great works, I built houses and planted vineyards for myself. I made myself gardens and parks, and planted in them all kinds of fruit trees. Then I considered all that my hands had done, and the toil I had expended in doing it. And behold, all was vanity, and a striving after wind, and there was nothing to be gained under the sun. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verses 1 to 5 and 11. The preacher, the author of Ecclesiastes, also points out that a life lived in pursuit of materialistic possessions and pleasure is meaningless without God. In another crab's treasure, this existential question is what drives many of the shellfish mad. This leads us to the game's second theme. The second theme of another crab's treasure is about the relationship between materialism, madness, and death. Hey, I don't know if you noticed, but your guards are going nuts out there! Another crab's treasure uses a motif of trash and microplastics to explore both materialistic possessions as well as environmental protection. The trash and microplastics represent capitalistic wealth, health impacts, as well as the destruction of the ocean world. The game implies that even though many shellfish pursue financial wealth, that because this wealth is actually, well, trash, it has a pathological impact on the characters, leading to both physical and mental illness. The game calls the impactful element of the trash gunk and its influence infection. The gunk infection causes many of the sea inhabitants to become violently mad and eventually die. Similarly, the Bible also describes unrestrained desire as the source of sin and eventual death. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. James chapter 1 verses 13 to 15. The inhabitants of the sands between are torn between chasing financial prosperity and avoiding infection from the gunk with no real solution. There seem to be only two types of creatures able to avoid gunk infection in the pursuit of wealth. Those who are able to exploit others for material gain and those who are complacent towards this exploitation leading to our third theme. The third theme of the game is the complacency towards the materialistic exploitation of the poor. In some sense, this is a critique on the seemingly cruel nature of a capitalistic system. The game suggests that many in power exploit the poor in pursuit of wealth and leave them to deal with consequences of such work conditions, like the gunk infection. The Duchess, the Lone Shark, and Roland are all portrayed as wealthy creatures who use others callously. The game also seems to criticize not only the exploiters, but also those who are complacent to the system. Krill, as a hermit crab living in the tide pools, is blissfully unaware of the struggles that many face dealing with trash on a day-to-day -day basis. Krill is criticized for his complacency by both citizens of New Carcinia for being selfish, 
as well as Praia Dubia for doing nothing as the ocean is destroyed. Krill acknowledges his selfishness but has no easy answer for his complacency. The Bible too criticizes complacency when Christians can help. If among you one of your brothers should become poor in any of your towns within your land that the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not harden your heart or shut your hand against your poor brother, but you shall open your hand to him and lend him sufficient for his need, whatever it may be. Take care lest there be an unworthy thought in your heart and you say, the seventh year, the year of release is near, and your eye look grudgingly on your poor brother and you give him nothing, and he cry to the Lord against you, and you be guilty of sin. You shall give to him freely, and your heart shall not be grudging when you give to him, because for this the Lord your God will bless you in all your work, and in all that you undertake. For there will never cease to be poor in the land, therefore I command you, you shall open wide your hand to your brother, to the needy and to the poor in your land. Deuteronomy chapter 15 verses 7 to 11. Krill is often criticized for his lack of action by those who would take extreme violent action, which leads to our final theme for the video. The final theme of another crab's treasure has to do with a particular type of response towards the materialistic exploitation, that of violence. In essence, even though the game criticizes some cruel aspects of capitalism, it also seems to acknowledge that violent Marxist reactions are probably not the solution. Characters like Kaiten, the Praia Dubia, and even Krill pursue angry, violent revolution as a solution to overcoming materialistic exploitation. If the world is ugly, then you need to fight. Fight to rip this ugly world apart. The game seems to acknowledge that violence only begets more violence often causing collateral damage. Krill himself, though pursuing the perfect world for a seemingly noble purpose of helping Kaiten, does not actually use his power for that purpose when he obtains it. Instead, he again uses the power for a violent attack on Firth, leading to serious repercussions for all of New Carcinia. In the closing moments of the game, Krill is still unable to obtain his shell, and he resorts to violence, despite knowing that nothing good has come of it. The Bible also criticizes the use of violence in the pursuit of material possessions. What causes quarrels and what causes fights among you? Is it not this, that your passions are at war within you? You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. James chapter 4 verses 1 to 3. Even though some of the characters push a Marxist seizing of property by the proletariat as a solution to exploitation, the game seems to acknowledge both the moral dilemma Two worthless sinners, right where we belong and the practical limitations of such a solution. Another Crab's treasure is a Souls-like platformer with deep and meaningful storytelling. While I had some issues with it overall as a work of art, the narrative itself did have some meaningful themes that it conveyed clearly. No matter how large or small, the one thing no creature can afford is complacency. I hope that other Souls-likes in the future can place more emphasis on the narrative as well. That's all I have for you in this video. Bless you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If this video blessed you in some way, please consider watching some of my other videos, subscribing, or sharing with me some of your thoughts in the comments below.